you need to give your citizens a reason to listen to you. Whenever I open a discussion around social media being mainstream media, I immediately get backlash and I completely understand it. Um, and let's think about the, the journalists thinking uh, in this instance. Journalists are very precious about their content, their storytelling, their features, their columns, and their reporting. And of course, they should be because they're trained in their discipline. They are experts in reporting and sharing the truth. And most of the time, they get it right. I'm also a qualified and former practicing journalist. So I also espouse to those ethics. But the thing about the digital age and long form content is that you can now be a journalist within your own organization. You can be a social reporter. You can be a feature writer, a profiler of individuals, a host of your radio show and also of a TV show. We live in remarkable times. We now have access to channels for absolutely free to espouse the narrative and the stories and create those emotional connections with the public so that they take a step back and they give us time, attention, and they listen. Because the battle right now online is not for reach, it's not for impressions, because you can get that. The real battle right now is for attention. And attention meaning somebody listening to your 30 minute podcast, watching to the end of that 15 minute video, and actually having a long read of that article or white paper or that blog post of 1200 words. It's no accident that we're seeing mainstream media introduce the long read the week in news wrapped up in this video and even hosting their own podcasts, newspapers and television stations hosting podcasts and radio stations going into video creation. Why are they doing that? They're doing that for attention and to really get a deeper engagement. The other thing about long form content and giving your citizens a reason to listen is that if they're interested in a topic, they're already searching out a place to have that long read, that long listen, or that long watch. Just go to Google or YouTube after you finish watching this episode and put in a long tail keyword, a series of words or a phrase related to what your department does. And then have a watch at what surfaces in the top five results on Google and on YouTube. And you will see the number of people on the YouTube video in particular that have watched that. That is your evidence that there are people interested in going niche and going deep on topics. So if you want the public to listen to you, and if you're a huge critic of social media and clickbait and people not really understanding the the decision making behind a policy or a piece of legislation or a project, then really you should ask yourself, are we giving our citizens a reason to stop and to listen?